Hi everyone and welcome back. So today I'm going to do a compliment to a Sunday roast, uh, the Yorkshire pudding, and it's going to be gluten free and dairy free. So first off I need to weigh some flour out. So my usual recipe for Yorkshire pudding is um, 70 grams of flour, 100 grams of milk, or 100 mils of milk, uh, uh, two eggs and a bit of salt and pepper. Um, but with your gluten free I've found the gluten free flour doesn't rise as much and if you don't put more eggs in you'll end up with really flat puddings so what we do is I look at 70 grams of flour which is gluten free flour but um, I've overdone it here as you can see so, <laughs> so what, I, what, I, what I forgot I usually do is uh, I usually have 50 grams of gluten free flour and then to add to that I'll whack in um, 20 grams of corn flour so what this helps to do is make the Yorkshire puddings a bit crisper so the corn flour makes it a little bit more crisp. Add a bit of salt and pepper, a couple of pinches of salt and some grinds of pepper. Then I'd end the four eggs. And give it a good old whisk. And you want to try and get this, keep, keep it going until it's nice and smooth and creamy. So you replace the uh, milk with soy. What well, I've replaced the milk with soya milk, uh, and again it's 100 grams or 100 ml approximately uh, of of this, uh, and then you mix this in with the batter. So start mixing this in. Uh, you put it in some, a few parts, so put a bit of milk in, mix it, put a bit more milk in, mix it, keep it going until all the milk's gone. Give it a good old whisk and then put it in the fridge to uh, be waiting for when you start to put it in the oven. Here's some uh, veg we've got for our Sunday dinner, all peeled and ready to go. And there's the lamb cooking. You can't see his lamb, obviously we've already prepared that. That's in there and that's been slow roasting all day. Wow, that lamb looks amazing. Claire's cooked it a treat. So carried on with the Yorkshires, so we've got some olive oil, extra virgin olive oil to put into the um, Yorkshire pudding trays. Put a bit in each uh, tray, whole thing. <laughs> Then put the fat in the oven and leave it in there for about 20-25 minutes to get it nice and hot. Uh, the oven's set at about 20, uh, 220 degrees C. Then 
the swede and carrot are coming on nicely right now it's time to get your yorkshire pudding batter out of the fridge it's been settling there nicely so we're just going to give it a good mix to get some air in it get as many air bubbles as we can in it and give it a really good mix round And then, very carefully, put in the uh, Yorkshire pudding batter in each hole in the Yorkshire pudding tin. Hello. Hey everyone, how did you find that? We, we found it really nice, as you can see. Empty plates. <laughs> Cooking with curry, lamb roast dinner, although it's been a joint effort. Mm. Yeah, you did most of it. Yeah. We, we, picked, we, we did a joint peel in, didn't mm. we? Mm. Um, Just did the meat this morning, did the gravy, do the best gravy ever. <laughs> <laughs> Got a good offer on the lamb, it was 13 mm. quid for a big leg of lamb from Sainsbury's. Mm. Um, so yeah, all good. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I thought I'd kind of, well, what's the word? Put it around the Yorkshire pudding this video, yeah. but obviously it's a full Sunday dinner we did. Mm. And uh, like I say, Claire takes the credit for most of that. It's all very nice. Yeah, you did 50 50, 50 to be fair. Yeah, I know, but. I have to do a week where I show you how to do gravy, gravy for beef, gravy for lamb, mm. gravy for chicken. Yeah, that was lovely gravy, that. Yeah. Uh, I've not put that in this video, it's but. Yeah, do we do it another week? Do a gravy. Mm. Do so that was gluten free, dairy free, Sunday roast. Mm. So it's doable, isn't it? It is doable, yes. Mm -hmm. um, all we just, you know, soya milks and dairy free butter. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it, really. And the rest is veg, isn't it? Veg mm -hmm. and meat. So yeah. can't go wrong, can you? That'll be it then. See you next time. See you later. Bye.